Truly a pleasure once again to be um, with you to officiate at the opening of this uh, Science and Technology and Resources uh, Network Conference 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, with the theme Geoscience Development in the Pacific Islands, planning for 2030, this forum will provide an opportunity for delegates to present tangible development agenda in areas of prime importance for Pacific small island developing states and the region, such as resources for Pacific communities, ocean geoscience, science of natural hazards. Risks to Pacific communities and land use and infrastructure development on Pacific islands. In its 35 historical years, ladies and gentlemen, what has the STAR network accomplished and how can you further uh, these successes to meet the objectives of the conference? These are but a few things that you should reflect on and consider during this week-long conference. STAR conference, as you all know, is an annual conference of geoscientists and related sciences and attendees will be privy to submitted papers on geo-advancement in the Pacific region, uh, resources for the Pacific communities, ocean geoscience, science of natural hazards and risks to Pacific communities, land use, energy and infrastructure development on Pacific islands, and mining. As such, this will reflect also on the linkages between the geosciences as a planning tool for islands and natural resources management. Moreover, ladies and gentlemen, the underlying principle of the STAR conference is ultimately to engineer strategies to mitigate the unrelenting and imminent threats of climate change from the perception of geoscientists. Therefore, at the end of this conference, I look forward to concrete resolutions being reached to outline the value in refreshing and uh, animating scientific alliances to showcase useful work, techniques, and instrumentation that may be adapted to address development issues in the Pacific region. The Fijian government, ladies and gentlemen, recognizes the importance and the impacts of such conferences as the STAR Network, which was founded in 1984 as a joint initiative between SOPAC and the IOC and UNESCO. These forums play a vital role in mapping out local and regional adaptation programs to further our collective struggles against the unforgiving effects of climate change, something that we witnessed just a couple of days ago in Japan. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, I'm not going to be long today. Before I conclude, I'd like to acknowledge the kind support of the following. Geoscience, Energy and Maritime Division of the Pacific Community, Australian Volcanological Investigations, AVI. I wish I could say that really well in Parliament, Volcanological. The Pacific GIS and Remote Sensing Council, Circum Pacific Council, the Korea Institute of Ocean Science and Technology and Standard Concrete Industries Limited, and the Steering Committee. Without their generous support, the STAR Conference would not have been possible, and we're indebted to you uh, for, uh, for your generosity and their attempts towards reinvigoration and independence uh, support, such as, vital for the, with, such as this is vital for the continuation of this network and its intended work. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish this conference all a success to realize and achieve its intended outcomes. And so with those few words, it's my esteemed pleasure to declare the Science, Technology and Resources Network Conference officially open.